Hello friends, welcome to QQRexam.com and today we will learn difference between Delta, Estuary, Lagoon, Bay, Gulf, State and Peninsula. Many of time we confuse these definitions. So let's clarify today. Firstly, Delta. How it is formed? When a river carrying sediments fall into sea. Here, the speed of river water gets slowed down and sediment gets starting deposing at the joining point. Here in left picture, a river is carrying sediments which start getting deposited at the connection point of lake and the river. Here sediments form layer by layer delta. And what is the main reason to form delta? You have listened, some rivers form delta and some rivers don't form delta. The main reason is that when a river carrying so much sediments that a wave or tide can't carry it all away. That means it can't wash it away from the shores of the sea that result into delta. Some rivers carrying very less sediments. So they don't form delta because that sediments are washed away with the tides or the waves. So the main criteria to form delta is carrying so much sediments that waves or tides of sea are unable to wash it away from the shores. So next move to estuary. What is estuary? Let's go by definition. It is a partially enclosed coastal body of brackish water with one or more river or stream flowing into it and with the free connection with the open sea. See what is actually when a freshwater river that is shown by red arrows water is coming from the river and with the yellow arrow we have shown the water is coming from ocean both get mixed at some point that result into brackish water which form actuary especially on the high tides more water from the ocean get mixed with the river water and result into actuary next move to lagoons what are lagoons they are shallow water bodies which somehow got separated from the larger water bodies by reefs or barrier see in this picture in center there is a lagoon which is separated from the main water body with barrier next move to bay what is bay bay is broad inlet of the sea where land curves inwards see in this picture we have shown bay of bengal here land is curving inward so next move to gulf it is a larger water body that is surrounded by land and it has narrow entrance that means it has narrow opening with the main water body so don't get confused with gulf and bay bay has a broader opening and gulf has a narrow opening with the main water body and next move to strait strait is a narrow waterway that connects two larger water bodies see in the left picture there is a narrow waterway between two larger water bodies and in the right picture we have shown park strait that connects bay of bengal with the park strait next move to peninsula it is a piece of land that is covered from the three side with water and one side of it is connected with the mainland see in this picture here peninsula is covered with the water from the three side and very small part of it is connected with the mainland so this is called peninsula hope this clarified all your doubts about delta actuary bay gulf peninsula and strait subscribe our channels for more videos thanks thanks a lot